Knowledge is power. You ever heard that before? What do you think? You think it's true? I don't think it's true because if knowledge was power, gentlemen, librarians would rule the world. No, good knowledge acted upon is power. And guys, that's what I want to stress today. Today, I want to give you five action steps that you can take to improve your image in the next 30 days. That's the key, gentlemen, is action. I had a friend of mine who started off as a client and he had told me, you know, Antonio, I've been on the forums checking out stuff for eight years, yet he hadn't taken steps to improve his style in this entire period. He was reading about, he was reading books, going through magazines and forums. All of that is great. But gentlemen, you need to take action. And I'm not going to say the information isn't important. You guys know I've put out hundreds of videos. And in fact, before you go down there and you take action, I want you to go check out this classic video right here, Finding Style Through Inspiration. Very important to what we're going to be talking about. Also, go check out this other one, 120 Outfits from 14 Pieces of Clothing, another classic RMRS video. Guys, those two videos right there can prepare you to go out there and take immediate action. So, let's go ahead and start with the first action step. Budget for your wardrobe. I know it's pretty common nowadays that people are like, ah, you know, I don't want to spend a whole lot on clothing. Well, let's think about it. You spend all of that money on your education, but you're not going to spend anything on how you present yourself. People, when they meet you for the first time, they don't see that you've got that fancy degree uh, in your back pocket. You just can't put that. Maybe if you're a lawyer, you could have it on your wall. But for most of us, it's something that you need to present yourself and present the best you that you can. You do that by actually investing in your wardrobe. The easiest way to save for your wardrobe is to every single month have a bit of money that goes out into a, a savings account or into an account that you're actually building it up so you can go out there and buy quality clothing. Gentlemen, I've talked about this before. Value does not equal price. Value equals the number of wares times how it makes you feel divided by the price. Makes sense? I've used that formula before, guys, but I want to stress it. You want to save up and get clothing that's going to make you feel like a million bucks. Because when you feel like a million bucks, you're going to walk around with confidence. People are going to notice it. It's going to change the way you stand, the way that you talk. And gentlemen, believe me, this is going to have a solid return on investment. Action step number two is to set a time frame. Gentlemen, you need to have a sense of urgency. A lot of guys think, oh, I'll, I'll worry about my clothing when I need it. The problem is, if you do that, you're going to end up paying twice as much more for a, probably about half the quality of the clothing. What do I mean by that? Well, if you, in, I talk to guys that work at menswear stores and they say all the time, somebody comes running into the menswear store and he's got a wedding he needs to go to the next day and he's trying to get dressed for it. He buys everything at full retail, doesn't necessarily even fit him correctly. He ends up buying clothing that is of poor value to him. Gentlemen, you need to create a sense of urgency. You need to set a time frame and focus in on a single outfit. Build that up, you know, I can say every 30 days, maybe try to add something. The point is, gentlemen, you've got to have that time frame. You've got to have that goal because if you're not measuring it, if you don't have that countdown timer, you're just going to keep putting it off and then when you need it, you're not going to be prepared and you're going to end up spending more than what you need to. Action step number three is to attend events that have a dress code. So, you can go to a black tie gala, may not be for everybody, but you can go to a Toastmasters. You can start going to speaking events and to stand up in front of them with a nice sports jacket or a nice suit. Well, all of a sudden, you have a great excuse why to go out there and grab one. You're in your mid 20s. Well, guess what? A lot of your friends and you possibly will be getting married suit. So, to invest in a nice suit that you can wear again and again to different wedding events versus having to rent something or show up to a, you know, one of these events underdressed you can actually be the best dressed man. And I can tell you at a wedding, if you're the best dressed man, you're single, yeah, you're going to have a good time. The point is find events in which you have to dress sharp for and all of a sudden, you're going to make sure that you've got that clothing aligned, you've got it ready and you're going to be prepared when you need it. Action step number four is to create a system, have a system for going out there and purchasing clothing. One of the first things you want to do is to make sure you've got your measurements on file. Once you've got your measurements, you can go out there and you can find a company that works for you. Now, I've talked about finding style through inspiration right over here. The great brand we talk about is Ledbury. I'm wearing their clothing right now. It's a great company because they've got a wide range of sports jackets, shirts, uh, pretty much everything you need, trousers. Simply, you can put together an interchangeable wardrobe 
through through a company like that. But you want to find a system that works for you. All of us are going to be different. It may be a company that's got a great app and you can just go through and they remember all your information. It may be a company locally that you can walk into their store. The point is find a system that works for you. Action step number five is to push your boundaries. Okay, you remember the movie Crazy Stupid Love? Steve Carroll, he was actually taken by Ryan Gosling out shopping and Ryan pushed his boundaries, said, you know, you need to be wearing, you're wearing the same clothing you've been wearing for 15 years and it doesn't even fit you. Let me change this up. He had somebody that took him and actually said, you're going to, you know, try this. And what happened, all of a sudden he went from a two on the style scale to probably a level eight and it made a big difference. His, you know, his wife noticed everyone noticed. They were like surprised it was the same person. You want to push your style boundaries. If you're a pretty conservative guy, consider bringing in, you know, like a, you know, a really nice pattern shirt. Again, Ledbury is going to be a great company. I really like a number of their pattern shirts, but simply doing that, it's not going to cost you a whole lot and all of a sudden you can up your style. If it doesn't work, okay, you can fall back, maybe bringing in a unique uh, pattern tie or maybe actually starting to wear a tie or stop wearing a tie. There's a number of things you can do to push your style boundaries, gentlemen. And if you do that, you can all of a sudden find something that really works for you, go forward with confidence and you can up your style in a very short amount of time. All right, gents, that is it. I want you to go check out the support post. I've got a really special offer, again, through Ledbury, great company. I've made sure to get this for you. It's limited time, so you're going to have to go grab it now and go check it out. And uh, in any case, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. What is the sixth action step that you should take. The seventh action step. You guys know I love hearing from you in the comments. I get down there and I try to interact with as many of you as possible. And thank you for supporting the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.